Morning everybody. Buenos dias, bonjour. How is everybody doing today? Today is moving day. Ah. It's a very long and exhausting day ahead of me. I've been up late last night packing, Yay. early this morning packing, still packing, but luckily I don't have to have everything out of the apartment out today, just the big stuff and small stuff so I can come back during the week and next week to get the rest of the things. Let's see, my apartment is a disaster. Here is my wash and dryer. Kitchen table is full of everything. Bunch of bags over here. My deep freezer. Actually, I need to unplug this. I should have unplugged last night, but it's empty. And I'm taking all these boxes. My mirror. The TV. My office desk. All right, guys. We're all loaded up. I have my desk. My work chair. Couch. Deep freezer. Dresser. Wash and dryer. And a bunch of boxes and bags. And then we will head over to the house and start unloading which is not gonna be fun. Oh my goodness. Went to the house in the car and I stopped and got a, uh, what's it, Amani? I've never had one and it actually tastes pretty good. This is probably my third energy drink ever in my life since I've been living. But it tastes pretty good. I hope it give it energy because I made all the energy I can get today. Like, it's, it's feel like it's been about to be a long day. I know that I'm not gonna be able to get everything unpacked like I want to. I know it's gonna take time, but I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try to be determined to get as much unpacked as I can this weekend, um, so it's not so overwhelming. At least like my bedding and uh, some of my clothes and stuff put away. But I know like the kitchen and living room and all that kind of stuff is gonna take a while. So stay tuned. Coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitting Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty You know what I'm talking about cause you just get me Yeah, you so pretty If everything is dipped in gold Then baby, it will never grow Everything sweet ain't sugar coated Focus on me. Can you focus on me? Yeah. Baby, can you focus on me? 
Going on private trips, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child, and then won't. All right, so this is how I end up putting my couch, my rug, and the other chair. But I'm not sure. Is it too close to the wall or not? I mean, I'm not sure. I think it's all right, but I don't know if I want to keep it this way. Lady day, make me wonder who you might have been playing with. Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with. I'm just a myself to keep playing this. Break her back over and over again. Sweat change, but I know that's the end. I want you on scene. Think you know your purpose. All right, guys, here's the kitchen table. I put two chairs on one side, two chairs on the other side. Let me know. It's supposed to be one on each side, but, you know, I'm working with a small space. So should I leave it like this or should I put back one on each side? Is it too close to the couch as well? No, someone said and mentioned earlier that I need to stretch the carpet out, which I did. It looks a lot better. And I was able for um to cut out the vent. I thought there was two vents in this room, but you can't even believe there's only one. Which is fine. I just... Glad that I got it. Here's some of my my belongings. Don't mind the mess. I haven't got the bed set up yet. This is just my monitors for my uh, for my computer system at home. For me to work from home, I mean. And that's just some of my contacts and some of my personal belongings. I still gotta put everything away, which is gonna be overwhelming. You don't even want you don't even want to see what that's in that closet. Like, yeah, I sold y'all some of the things, but it's gotten worse. Like, mm mm. I'm just gonna wait till I get it organized so y'all can see. But it's a disaster. All right, so here is KFC that we have DoorDash to the house. It's just drums and thighs with coleslaw, mashed potatoes, and biscuits because my stomach was touching my bike. I was starving, baby. Just look at me, y'all. I'm so silly, but I love to have fun. Life is short. Hey, everybody. I just want to show you some quick things that I got that I'm about to put in the dishwasher. Because I finally found my dishwashing pods. Now, I wasn't sure if I should get these or the Cascade ones. I have a dishwasher at my apartment. I've been at my apartment for four years, and I've never used a dishwasher. So, I'm not sure which brand is what, but I know this was the cheapest one at the time. because I got them on sale at Amazon. But let me know, should I use these or the Cascade ones? I'm not sure. And I also picked up this. This was free on Amazon. I mean, this, I'm in this group um, that's, that I follow. They're always posting, like, promos and stuff that goes on sale at different stores, whether it's Amazon, Walmart, Macy's, JCPenney, all them good stores. So I got this for free. It's like a dishwashing machine cleaner, dishwasher machine cleaner. I don't, I don't think I need it right now, but it's good to have. So try those. Got motion lights. I only got a set of two because I, I want to put one under here and one over there under that one. So I'm gonna do that next and see how they work. You can set them to be on the whole time, or you can just have them come on when you walk by, like motion sensor. So I'm, I'm excited to try those. I also got a cheap cutting board to cut my fruit and vegetables on at Walmart. I also picked up these, you know how you go to a restaurant and got a little sauce cup with the lids? This whole pack of 200 was like $5 on Amazon. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. But every time I see something cheap for a good price, why not? Like, you might have a party. I haven't decided if I'm going to have a housewarming or not. I kind of am not very social like I used to be. Fun fact, I was most talkative in high school out of my whole senior class. But as I get older... I don't I don't care to be around a whole lot of people. Hint why I work from home and not in public anymore. <laughs> so yes, I'm not sure if I want to have a house or anything. We'll, I'll let y'all know about that. And I got a bunch of these bowls from Walmart. These are pretty good. These are about two or three dollars a piece. See, I didn't plan on getting all this many. I I keep forgetting I bought so much over time as time has went on that I don't remember what I had bought and what I didn't buy. So I only wanted to buy four, but it looks like I have more than four. So hey, they're good and they're really sturdy and thick. I like these. Now then Walmart do we have those little plastic thin ones, but these are a whole lot better. Like very thick. And they're microwavable because I just used one earlier. This is just microwave. I bought this. Throw it on the microwave. Like throw it over your food so the food doesn't splatter everywhere. 
I got this machine. One of my other favorite places to shop. This was about, I don't know. It was cheap though, because I'm cheap. I ain't gonna pay a whole lot of stuff for nothing. So every time you see something with me with something here, just know I paid them very minimal for it. I'm very cheap. Mm hmm So this goes on the food. I think it goes in there. Goes over the food. Which I thought was cute. Keep food from splatter everywhere. Because I hate keeping the inside of the microwave very hard to keep clean. Smaller bowls, just like the ones I just showed you, but these are the smaller ones. They're also the same material cute to have this machine this was like two dollars it's a toothpick dispenser you just put the toothpicks in and just press and they pop up i thought it was cute i bought two cups why well, i thought i bought four i don't know what the other ones are i might have to go back and get two more so i'm going to put all these in the dishwasher here is my walk 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 um i had this about Four or five years has been in my apartment. Never used it, but I plan on using it. It's non-stick too, so I'm gonna try it out. And see, might do like broccoli, squash, onions, all that good stuff. In there. I got from the Dollar Tree. It need to be the Dollar Twenty Five Cent store, not Dollar Tree, because there ain't nothing in there a dollar no more. These were a dollar twenty five, which I thought was cute. I got two of them. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for, but I just picked them up because hey, they were less than two dollars. I got these real glass plates. I got four. So I thought they were cute. And I got my silverware. Now, though, I'm not sure if I ordered the stainless steel or if I ordered the gold ones. So not gold, actually. Pieces. It came with eight steak knives, eight dinner knives, eight dinner spoons, dinner forks soup spoons and salad fork or organizer in my drawer to put them in so if i did wash them they're just gonna have to sit in the dishwasher so i can figure out something to put in the drawer see cool and they are dishwasher safe as well Let's try this again. Heavy, high, heat. Start. <gasps> Ooh. I think it's doing something, y'all. Be on them private tracks, taking trips. Come back at six, wake me and your child. And then won't lay today. Make me wonder who you might have been playing with. Makes me wonder. All right, so here I'm taking out some sheets that are brand new, but I like to wash my sheets because they make me itch. Yes, they're going in the washing machine, and I make sure I wash those. And here's my daughter's bedding. She's going to have a Princess Tiana theme room, so I'm washing her comforter. It came with a comforter, a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and two pillow shams, or one is a pillow sham, one is a pillowcase. So I can't wait to decorate that. But she don't love me, she's too scary Thank you everyone for tuning in This is going to be the end of this vlog The next vlog will be um, Either my home buying process Or grocery shopping Because my house is empty I have a few things here to 
get, get by, but I think I'm gonna go with the shopping tomorrow and I'm not too happy about it. I know it's gonna be arm and a leg because she's are high. So I thank you guys for once again for tuning in. I, I couldn't have done it without you. I, I'm so honored for each and every one of you. And I'm gonna keep reminding you guys that you guys mean a lot to me and I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful. Oh, and let me go right up. I wanna get my daily reminder. You're gonna see me wear a lot of these shirts. It says, stop expecting people to love you the way God does. Food for thought. And this is made by God is Dope. You know, like the last one that says, like, hey, God, it's me again. I have a lot of these shirts. Um, The company is God is Dope. And then this is not sponsored. I've been buying from them for, like, last five, four or five years. And um, I just love their products. And I love worshiping God. And I'm thankful for him. So every time I see they have a new design, I go get it. But once again, I thank you, and I hope you enjoy this video. And I don't know if it's gonna be long or short, but tune in for the next one. Peace.